Hey everyone, it's James from American Drifter and today we're going to be checking out a piece of gear that I personally use and have used for about two years now and that is the Hummingbird Hammock. Now this hammock was recommended to me by a best friend who knows that I'm interested in ultralight camping. After using this hammock a bunch over the years, I thought it was time to give you my honest thoughts of the Hummingbird Hammock. Here's a closer look at the hammock itself packed away. And as you can see, it's around the size of my hand, so pretty compact. And I did end up going with the slate gray version. I'm sure that's no surprise. And this hammock weighs in at 7.6 ounces and can withstand a max load of 350 pounds. This hammock goes for $69.95, and it is worth mentioning, I did go with the plus version. So what that means is it's 12 inches longer and 14 inches wider than the traditional hammock offered by Hummingbird Hammocks. The cool thing about this hammock is they use parachute fabric to make the hammock and the bag itself. They also use lock stitching that is a double stitching standard for parachute riggers. And they also use button links instead of carabiners for ease of use when using this hammock with the Hummingbird Hammocks tree straps. And then lastly, they use this dyeing process for coloring the hammocks that doesn't add any additional weight to the hammock. Now that I've gotten the hammock out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to the Hummingbird Hammocks Straps Plus. And the plus version simply means that they're a little bit longer than the traditional straps offered by the company. And these straps do go for $39.95. And as you can see on the back here, it's 2.3 ounces and can withstand a max load of 400 pounds. They do use Spectra cord for the cordage, which I know has a weight limit of 1,500 pounds. Uh, so that's a cool thing as I've had a few hammocks in the past and I've never seen any other hammock company use Spectra cord. So now that I've gotten the specs and the details out of the way, let's go ahead and set up this hammock. It's worth noting when I do set this hammock up, I start with one side first with the straps, just because with this strap system, you do have to be pretty exact when it comes to the length of each side. So I usually just like to eyeball it when I'm looking at both trees and I start with one side first and then I unroll the hammock and then go from there to see what length I need on the other side with the remaining strap. Before I proceed with setting up this hammock, I just wanted to take a quick moment to show you how thin this material is. I mean, it really feels like a grocery bag or something. And to be honest, after using this for a couple years, I didn't expect it to hold up this well. This is what the hammock looks like completely set up. And as you can see, you can also use the storage pocket as a pocket for your cell phone or headlamp, really whatever, while you're sleeping in this at night or just napping during the day. All right, so I just had the camera fall over and this is what it did to the microphone adapter thing. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this review very close to the camera so that you all can hear me uh, with my overall thoughts of this hammock and my experience with it over the years. So for the pros of this hammock, I feel like they did a lot right with it. The quality of the materials used with this hammock, not only the material of the hammock, but also the cordage used for the straps is very high quality. The stitching is on point. And I like the idea behind the ultralight camping hammock. The only thing I don't like about this hammock are the straps. And let me tell you why. There's nothing wrong with the materials. I think it's great material, no issues with durability. It's just the fact that you have to wrap the strap around the tree to get the precise length that you need after you're done. If you come up too short or too long, well, you have to take it all off and unwrap it from the tree and do it all over again. Now, I've had this happen inconsistently. There's been times when I set up camp and it takes me about five minutes to set up this hammock which I've got no problem with that. That's about how much time I'd like to spend setting up a hammock. However, there's been other times when I've been dealing with different trees of different diameter, or maybe they're further away than the normal, and it's taken me anywhere between 10, 15, 20 minutes to set up this hammock just due to that strap situation. So after saying that, would I still recommend this hammock? Yes, I would. Great product made right here in the USA. However, I would like to experiment with another strap option, maybe an aftermarket strap with the carabiner. I know it's probably going to add a little bit of weight to the package, but I'm willing to make that sacrifice in order to set up camp quickly. So there you have it. That's my review of the Hummingbird Hammock. Be sure to check out their website. I will drop it down in the description below. And before you go, please be sure to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.